Okay, good evening, everyone. Seeing that it's 701, we have a board quorum. I'd like to call the meeting to order. And can we please stand for Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance and to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. Uh, and, to and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, liberty, with liberty and, justice and justice for all. For all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I want to do a quick roll call. We've got John Corcoran here. Yep. Lynn Landolina. I'm here. Bob Raven Seegers. Hello. And John Welsh. Anyone else? Here. John Corcoran. No one else yet, but we do have, and well, we have a quorum so we can continue on. Uh, comments from visitors regarding agenda items. I have not received any email comments. I guess, Ray, if someone has their hand to raise, if they have a comment about agenda items, uh, let's look. We only have a few participants. The only hand up I see is mine. I don't know why. No hands are raised. Okay, seeing none, I'll continue on to the chairperson's report. Uh, first thing in my report, facilities update. Uh, just to remind the board, if they haven't heard, that there's a town meeting tomorrow night, a virtual town meeting at 7.30 uh, through Zoom. The agenda is on the uh, town website, and that's where we're going for our capital requests for the Seymour, Seymour cameras and software upgrades and for our technology upgrades. Uh, that will be, uh, uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna be voting on it tomorrow night, where the Board of Finance is doing that or just having the town meeting giving the information. But regardless, uh, we will be prepared tomorrow night to give a little bit of information and I'll be able to answer any questions if anyone has any. Uh, the other part of the facilities report, the facilities committee meeting. Uh, we did hold a meeting last week outdoors because we needed to see the facilities. Uh, we were able to check out the tennis courts. They looked in great shape. We assessed the tree damage at the middle school and high school and discussed uh, how that's going to be repaired. Uh, cleaning and maintenance of the all Grove classroom air intake registers. And we have a quote on that. Uh, we've deferred our policy on field use and field access. Uh, anyone that contacts the Board of Ed to the school, as long as they're following COVID-19 protocol and have uh, liability insurance, we're letting them use, use the field if it's for appropriate activities. And we also have uh, some maintenance requests that we got through uh, Ray Carlson and Ray Engel. Uh, just to inform the board, some people don't know this, that the mulch projects uh, have been completed. And uh, Butler uh, Landscaping, they are on the state vendor list, because I know we had a question of that last week, whether they were or not. The paving job at Seymour uh, has been completed. Uh, we do have a quote, which they'll be looking at for cleaning the all grove uh, units. And we also have a request, uh, the Board of Ed, 8C unit that broke last summer that we decided to uh, take a look at replacing it last year and we got it fixed and it's uh, hobbled through this year, but it's been repaired several times and because of its age, it's probably not worth repairing. It'd be cheaper to replace it. And we do have a quote uh, with f, &F for that. And uh, some repairs, there were some leaks that were done at the high school boiler room. So a lot of things have been done, even though schools have been closed, uh, it's given an opportunity to get a lot of things uh, complete, and uh, that's all a good sign. So that's uh, an update on facilities. Uh, the next item, I'll turn this over to Kyle McLean, our board attorney. Uh, we have our non-certified contract. Uh, we have come to a, a agreement that we're looking for the board to vote on tonight and agree to. Uh, Kyle has sent all board members a summary of it. Uh, and he's going to answer any questions. He's not going to do a presentation on it, but he'll be here to answer any questions about the contract and the settlement. And then uh, hopefully later, uh, we'll have a recommended actions and approve that contract. So I'll turn it over to Kyle. Good evening. Sure, thanks, Bob. Good evening. Uh, yeah, as Bob said, uh, it sounds summary. I went over the, the economic and uh, substant substantive language changes we had in the contract. Uh, you know, there, there are various changes so rather than go th through all of those. I did send out that summary, so I'll take questions. I mean, the, I'll hit the big, big points. 
for the wage agreement. It was a three year it's a, a three year contract. This contract expired at the end of last school year, so it's going to be uh, the contract itself will be effective last July, which means there'll be a retroactive payment. Not unusual in non certified contracts. Uh, that goes this way quite often, whereas certified teachers administrators are on a firmer uh, time schedule. So not unusual. The agreement there was a 7.69% increase in wages over three years. Uh, the first year be 1.45. Uh, the year two, 4.13%. Year three is a 2.11. Um, a lot of that, those wages are devoted to the paraprofessionals wage scale because they are well below average. Uh, that, that, that was acknowledged and the board did a lot of work to make sure that that, that scale gets a lot of the money as far as what was negotiated. It, uh, in particular, it raises the minimum wage up above the minimum wage. Uh, as you all probably know, minimum wage is going up uh, on a yearly basis, basis for the next four years. So it addresses that so there's no concerns about having to make a change in the future where we would be behind the law. Insurance, there was an increase on, uh, there's no change to the insurance plans. There's an HMO. There's an HGHP, they're both Connecticut plans, which almost everyone, uh, all board employees are on now. Uh, increase in the premium shares goes up 0.75%. Uh, so the HMO right now is 18 and a half. HGHP is at 16 and a half right now. So uh, by the end of the contract, go up to 19 and a quarter and 17 and a quarter. The dental goes up half percent, up to 20%. So that's a larger share than the others. Uh, some of the more substantive, some of the, the language changes, some of the more important language changes. Uh, first, the contract in different spots, areas that define a full-time employee is 27 and a half hours. That really only comes into play as far as who's eligible for what benefits. So when we negotiated all new employees, so hired uh, or July 1st, 2020, so, you know, in a couple weeks, beginning next school year, uh, they would owe anyone... 30 hours or more would be full time, so it'll be consistent going forward. And that's important in terms of who's, who qualifies for various benefits, uh, insurance benefits being, you know, the, um, the most, having the most economic impact anyhow. So uh, some of the other language changes, there were some changes to, to work schedules. The high school secretary's weekly schedule was increased two and a half hours. The high school guidance secretary's work year was formally set at an extra three days. There was always discretion to have that secretary work those extra three days. Board's discretion now it's set those extra three days and there's an agreement to stagger the work hours of the high school secretary and the guidance secretary to provide some additional coverage before and after uh, regular school hours. Uh, there's a differential stipend was created for any paras that are covering secretarial duties for an hour or more. There was uh, an agreement to add a paid holiday. So paraprofessionals were being paid one less holiday. They had the day off, but weren't being paid for it. There's an agreement to, to pay them for that, similar to other employees. Uh, along with that holiday section, there was an agreement where uh, the number of paid holidays would stay the same, but the board could elect to change which ones are designated those paid holidays. So Veterans Day, Columbus Day or the two we specifically identified um, could be swapped out for a different holiday that the board might identify, whether it's a, a religious holiday or some other holiday. And certainly speaking of Columbus Day, it's more relevant than ever. Uh, there was some additional language to the sick leave section, uh, allows the superintendent to, to uh, require a note in certain circumstances. And there are a few sort of small uh, stipend reimbursement changes. There's a stipend in the contract for health paraprofessionals, special duty paraprofessionals. That was increased by a quarter from 75 cents to a dollar. And uh, custodian boot um, reimbursement, $150 a year is the current. It was increased to $200 a year. So uh, there are a few others that I'd summarize. If there's any questions, I'll certainly answer them. Thank you, Kyle. Anyone with any questions? No problem. 
Well, Kyle, I don't have a question, but I'd like to thank you for your efforts you've made with us through all the negotiations. I know a lot of time has been spent, uh, but we appreciate it. No problem. I was happy to help. Any board members with questions? No, I think that was very thorough in addition to the uh, the written um, summary that he provided. Yeah, we do have yeah, it's a very comprehensive summary, and I think it's a very fair contract, too. Uh, looking at the numbers, uh, we certainly have a lot of people uh, who are probably underpaid, and we certainly want to be up at that uh, minimum wage. We can't be below that. Uh, these people work hard for us every day, and we're glad we've been able to settle it with them. Okay, anyone else have any questions before we move on? Let Kyle go. Okay, I don't see anyone with their hands raised or anyone talking. Lynn? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kyle, I think we'll thank you and we can say good night. All you. right. Thank you. I'm Kyle. Always happy to come to East Granby. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stay well. Okay. All right. Have a good before night. I end my report and pass on to Missy, I would just say uh, graduation went over very well last week. It was an awesome event. I think uh, everyone I heard from were very pleased with how well it went off. And I think the kids were very excited. And it was a very memorial, memorable evening. Okay, pass on to Missy for superintendent's report. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, the, the first item is our um, update on our K-5 student enrollment. Uh, very little change from our last meeting. Uh, there are only two grades with um, a change grade one. We did add a student and grade two, we are down two students. So overall, our number of sections will remain the same um, as they have been uh, all along. Um, so the new grade two will be 19, 19, and 19, is that correct? Um, the new grade two will be 19, 19, and 19. Uh, that's correct. And grade one will go to four sections of 15. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Uh, school reopening plans. This is something that will be on our agenda uh, throughout the summer. Uh, yes, Bob, I, I uh, concur with that response. Um, we are expecting some guidance by the end of this week through the governor's office. That's what we are told. Uh, we are in no um, you know, better place than we were uh, last month uh, in terms of guidelines. However, we have, um, as I've shared before, we do have several subcommittee um, that are meeting to look at um, some sensible shifts or some sensible purchases. So we have been able to secure uh, some purchases for uh, some PPE, masks, digital thermometers, um, not that that's a PPE, but uh, masks, uh, gloves, gowns. We did purchase digital thermometers, uh, hand sanitizer and dispensers for all of our buildings. Uh, we are just uh, placed a recent order for some backpack foggers. Which would be which would be very helpful uh, to disinfect more quickly uh, some larger areas. We also uh, have recently spoke about installing plexiglass on some of our um, public access areas. So looking at the main offices, perhaps guidance counselors, um, things of that sort. And you know, I do want to thank our school custodians who continue to be you know, working very hard every day, as well as our town and uh, Ray Carlson and DPW uh, for all of their, you know, help and assistance um, in, in helping us move this along. So again, hopefully at the end of this week, we will have some uh, guidance from the state. I have phone calls. I'm, I'm meeting this week with a number of other superintendents in our area and some from across the state so that I can get a pulse on where everyone is. But right now, um, most districts are in a holding pattern before we go out and spend a lot of money uh, looking for some resources when we really don't know what we are planning for yet. Thank you, Missy. Thanks. Missy? Yes. I'll just add uh, the board chairs last uh, Thursday had a meeting with the commissioner on education and he expressed those same issues. Unfortunately, I think we all realize there are more questions than there are answers. 
Yes. And, and th things have been changing in a positive way for us, and, and they really want to come up with guidelines that are going to work for us, because right now, things we're talking about probably not going to work for anyone. Uh, but they're they're looking at it. They they know we all need answers. Uh, they're looking for answers, and you know we we do have to give them time and and do the best we can. And hopefully it's all going to work together. And they're trying to keep us all together. Every school district in Connecticut's got this issue, and even I know I, I sent a, something to Missy about superintendents across the country. Just you know need something that's going to be affordable and feasible. And right now, they're just uh, too many unanswered questions. So as time goes on, they'll get the information out. There's new manuals that we can read to follow, and we just hope for the best. Uh, and everybody's spending a lot of a lot of time uh, working on it. So with that said, I'll let you continue, Miss. Yeah, it's it's going to be an extremely busy summer. And by some date, we need to have a date of which we say, here's what we're doing so we can plan, because it is going to be, um, once we have an idea of what we're planning for, um, it will be all hands on deck. There is no question. Every document we receive is, is like 31 pages. I mean, they're just so long. Um, and every bullet point or every you know guideline, and they're called guidelines, and I shared with some people, I don't really see it as guidelines, they're more as checklists because they're not guiding us to anything. They're saying, did you look for this? Did you try for this? Um, so there's a, a lot of work ahead of us for sure. What is the first day of school, Missy? Can you remind us? So Lynn, you're gonna ask me these trick questions now? We just got done with <laughs> I can look it up, I can look it up. <laughs> I can tell you graduation from this past year. <laughs> I, 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 up and I don't have it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can get the calendar on the back, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> uh, that seems so far off right now. And as I shared with the administrative oh. team, though, today, it will be a yeah. blink. It's going to be a blink, and we will, we will be I there. I know. It's mm -hmm. true. So... Um, you know, I just wanted to kind of spiral back for a second, um, you know, as we're looking at reopening, I, I did want to say kind of with the close of the year, um, you know, as, as to Bob's point, graduation was really kind of cool. Um, I know the administration, uh, the high school administration got all positive feedback. Uh, you know, I, I don't think the kids missed for anything. They're able to, you know, see their, um, you know, peers walk across the stage. It was it was really kind of cool. You know, Mark of Mark Auto Body. You know, you know, thank you so much for the use of the space and the personnel he hooked us up with for parking. In an awesome jumbotron that um, the class rented, which was able to live stream, and uh, it was really really a great night. Um, you know, aside from graduation, we did, um, every building did some type of our virtual end of year activities between awards nights and chicken soup with rice for our kindergartners, Seymour talent show, elementary art shows, field days, you know, teachers and, and administrators and staff got many videos from families and community members, just, you know, fun uh, videos and, you know, thanking them in the last few days. Um, each building had some type of a drive through to be able to kind of wave to each other and wish each other well for the summer. So um, it was kind of a an odd end of year, I have to say. It kind of ended and I was like, oh, that was the last day of school. So, um, but nonetheless, um, you know, certainly people are missing each other, but there was a lot that happened over these last last couple of weeks. Sounds okay. like it was great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wonderful. I can personally attest that the uh, the middle school drive through uh, on the last day of school was uh, very well handled, and it was uh, it was really fun and uh, appreciated by by all for sure. Excellent. Great. Good. Each building tried to keep with you know some of their end of year traditions that they have had uh, as best as possible. Yep. Okay, um, next order of business. We do have some letters of resignation and retirement. The first one is from uh, Susan Cavanaugh. Susan Cavanaugh is our elementary uh, curriculum consultant. 
She is retiring um, at the end of this uh, current school year, and she says, it has been my pleasure to work with all Grove and Seymour staff and the Board of Education office for the past 15 years. So she has been a you know huge help to our elementary um, program, especially when we were rolling out our teacher's college and a lot of the support she gave over the past 15 years. So we absolutely thank uh, Susan for her, um, her you know, fantastic service to the districts and, and the kids. The second, um, the second uh, is a retirement. Um, dear Ms. Bavaro Grandi, members of the East Grammy Board of Education, the purpose of this letter is to inform you of my retirement effective June 17, 2020. I have enjoyed my years of supporting the students of East Granby, especially watching them grow in skills and confidence. This is from Lynn Scoglin. Uh, Lynn has been an, an awesome uh, paraprofessional for the last 20 years in district. And we certainly thank Lynn and wish her well. The next letter, uh, dear Ms. Bavaro Grandi and the members of the East Granby Board of Education, the purpose of this letter is to inform you of my intent to retire at the end of my contractual year, effective June 30th, 2020. I have enjoyed my many years of supporting students and it has been a truly rewarding experience for me, but circumstances dictate that I retire at this time. Uh, this is from uh, Betsy Velasuso. Villasuso, I'm sorry, Villasuso. I always call her Betsy. I never actually pronounced her name, <laughs> her last name. Um, now, Betsy says that she enjoyed her many years. I think it's worthy to say that Betsy started in 1968 as a cafeteria aide at All Grove. Then she was a library aide at the high school, a teacher's aide for grade three. And since 1992, she has a special, she's been a special education para. So if my math is correct, that's 52 years serving yes. our, our district. Amazing. That wow. is amazing. Wow. Wow. So um, absolutely thank Betsy and, you know, we certainly wish her well. Um, in the last uh, retirement, um, Dear Missy and the East Granby Board of Education members, after 35 and a half years in education, the last 10 of which have been principal of Carl Algrove Elementary School, I have made the very difficult decision to retire effective September 1st, 2020. I am and have always been committed to the thriving, enriching and supportive learning community we as an Algrove staff have fostered. Algrove is a community in which the needs of each individual child are nurtured, and I am proud to have been the principal working with the faculty and staff of incredibly dedicated professionals to reach that goal. I cannot speak more highly of each person's contribution to making Algrove a wonderful learning environment for children and families and to their tireless efforts to address instructional and school climate improvements. The All Grove teachers have a highly regarded reputation and that is even more deserved now based on their work through distance learning, which was no less than remarkable. The East Granby community is extremely fortunate to be able to send their young learners through the doors of All Grove School. My admiration for my administrative colleagues is deeply felt as well. They too are committed to guiding the East Granby public schools into the future. The efforts of the administrative team see no time frames, and as a group, our investment of time, knowledge, and grit have reaped great rewards for our students in district. Every individual fulfills multiple roles in this district, which many people do not realize. May I take a moment to thank you, the Board of Education, and all of my colleagues for the opportunities and support that I have been given during my tenure at Allgrove. As I look back, it has been a fabulous journey. It will be very difficult to say goodbye to the children, parents, and colleagues who are my second family. But I am looking forward to the future where I will be able to spend more time with my husband, children, and very special grandchildren. The motto of All Grow School is where, all, where we all grow. And I intend to take that philosophy with me into the future. My intention is to work through the summer to continue the work on the All Grow reopening plan for the fall. I am committed to making the transition as seamless as possible and would relish the opportunity to support East Grammy Public Schools in other capacities should there ever be a need in the future. 
Sincerely, Mila Ulinger. Oh. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you. Beautiful. So Mila's with us for a little bit longer, um, but she has, you know, submitted that and we do have a date and, you know, um, I was actually surprised. I forget that it's 10 years, you know, it's a, it's a district again, oh. where we, where we come and we stay here. So, um, you know, certainly thank you to Mela. And I, I think it's, um, we're very appreciative that she's willing to stay on and help us with the summer work to get us ready for the fall. Thank you, Mela. So, and, um, that is all I have for tonight. Okay. Getting down to item four, recommended actions. Uh, I'd like to congratulate all those who are resigning, retiring, and the good, it's a good life, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'd like to see if we could do one motion to accept all four of them, if that's possible. Someone wants to do that? I would make a motion to uh, accept the uh, uh, resignations slash retirements of... Uh, um, you say mail up. I can't even read my own writing here. I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses in this room. Let me, Susan Those Kavanaugh. Betsy Valasuso, Susan Kavanaugh, Lynn Scrogan. There you go. We'll get Lisa to add those names in, Bob. Yeah. If that's your motion. That's my motion. I'm sticking to it. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank we have you. A second for that motion. Second. I'll second that. It's Lynn. We have a second from Lynn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion on it? Okay, all those in favor signify saying aye. 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 I have to take a, I gotta take a voice vote here. Because I gotta take a vote. John? With regret. Okay, Lynn? Yes, uh, aye, with regret. Okay, Bob? Uh, uh, yes, and likewise, with regret. John Welsh? John Welsh? Hope we didn't lose John Welsh. I think he's muted. He's still here. I can see him on the list. Is that him muted there? I, I unmuted him. TV. No, that's John Welsh. No, he's not muted. Where'd he go? I think he muted now. He's overwhelmed. <laughs> well, the problem is we need his vote. We, we don't do. Have <laughs> we don't have a quorum anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say yes with the regrets too, but we need just only four votes. He's still, John, he's he's still, still there. On? He's still there. He's, he's still on. on. Well, let's see. Can we send him a message? I'll send him a message. Well, let's see, why is that? Mm. He may be experiencing technical difficulties. It's not a good time for that. No. no. <laughs> does somebody have his, uh, does, oh, I was gonna say, does somebody have a cell number that you can just text them? I, yes, I do, yeah. Okay. Good, good, Lynn, if you do that, Lynn, for us. Yep. Appreciate it. Just tell them to type in the chat room, yes or no. Because otherwise we're through doing we can't do our business. We can't finish. Well he's oh, on the phone. Number. I can't get in touch with him. He must have changed his number. Terrific. Oh, wait. I just got an error message. Let me try uh, uh, There he is. Try one more time. Oh, there oh, we go. Do we have him? There's his number. He just put his number up. Okay. You want me to call him? Where's his number? Yes, that would be good. Oh, he vote says yes. His vote was yes. yes. Okay. Oh, great. Then motions carried unanimously. Well, technology is awesome. Okay, so that motion's carried. And we thank all of them. Okay, item 4B, approved non-certified contract, July 1, 2019, until June 30th, 2022. Did we get a motion? Bob Raven Seegers is a second. I second. Okay, Lynn second. Any other discussion? 
Okay, all those in favor of approving the non-certified contracts signify by saying aye. I see Lynn's up, hands up. There's mm -hmm. one. Hands up, Bob, I see see John, I see Bob, this Bob, and we need to vote for him, John. He, he said yes. He said yes. yes. Again, very yes. good. Motions carried. Excellent. Item five, agenda items for future meetings. I I have one. Uh, we need we need to have a discussion at our next meeting about the new board of finance encumbrance policy. Okay, that sounds okay. like a good thing to yep. do. Okay, so I guess this is an item that may have been looked at two years ago, but we know in the past two years lots of people have changed, and I don't ever recall ever seeing anything on it until just recently, and uh, we do have to discuss it because it has an impact on our end of the year uh, financing. Okay, any other agenda items for future meetings? Bob, this is Ray. Do you think we Ray? want to add the capital plan to at least take the first pass at it? Or do you want to put it in facilities first? What's that again? The capital plan, the five-year capital plan? We need that for September, or do you want to wait one meeting? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll add that. Yes, definitely add that. I just say I don't yeah, see we that. We should take a, shake a, take a swing at that. Yeah, definitely we have to do that. They did send us a copy of that. Yes. yes. Okay. Those are things, you know, Ray, you can add anytime. I'm looking for a board of ads if they got something they want to add. I know you'll add that. Okay. Uh, okay. Anything else from the rest of us? Seeing none. Uh, do we have any comments from visitors regarding agenda items? I don't see any hands raised, Ray, do you? No, no hands raised. Right. I need a motion to go into executive session for an update on the superintendent's contract, and uh, we won't be inviting anyone but the board members. Uh, I would make that motion, Bob Ravenseeger. And John Corcoran with a second for that. Okay. Uh, I, I will tell the public we're going to be going into executive session. Uh, we're going to be excluding everyone. We're only going to come back in a public session to end the meeting. We won't be doing any any voting or anything in public session, the meeting will be over. I don't want you to miss anything, but we can't go into executive session and have others uh, connected to us right now. So last opportunity for comments from the public. Uh, and if there aren't any comments from the public, uh, the board's gonna go into executive session. I guess we didn't vote on executive session. All those in favor going to executive session, signify saying aye. Aye. Yeah, okay, that motion's carried. And I thank everyone who's joined us tonight. We